probably the only version of ping pong where I might actually stand a chance of winning. But when I come up against the real Yasir Husseini, I just can't compete. <laughs> One look at Yasir and you'd think he'd been playing table tennis all his life. But in fact, he's only been training seriously in the sport for about a year. In year seven, uh, it was in my PE class where I picked up my first bat. Um, before then, I didn't know w what the rules were, uh, how to play the sport. Now his skills with the bat could take him to the top. Yasir's been selected to play in the Australian table tennis squad and has been tipped to one day bring home a gold in the Paralympics. It's an impressive start for the Year 12 student who has cerebral palsy, a disability that affects the way his body moves. I think um, as I got older, I think I accepted the fact that I am disabled and I need support at times. But um, it's really, on the other hand, it's really important that you don't let it come in the way. But it's not only his disability that makes Yasir an inspiring role model, it's his past. When Yasir was seven, he and his family fled Afghanistan, which at the time was on the brink of war. His family was threatened and one of his brothers was kidnapped. The family hasn't seen him since. But Yasir and his family pushed on with their plans to get out. They made their way to Indonesia and then got on a boat to Australia. For me, it was a, it was a, it was adventure really, because as a seven-year-old, um, you get on a boat that's really dodgy and you got big waves hitting your boat at night, and while while you're sleeping, you're just flopping around everywhere. And um, I think I think I enjoyed it. It was fun for me, but for the whole family, it was it was a real worry. They were stopped by Australian authorities and spent the next two months in a detention centre before they were allowed to stay. Eleven years on from that journey and Yasir's achievements keep on growing. The Year 12 student has been given leadership roles at his school and he helps out other Afghan kids with their homework. I admire Yassir's integrity. I just see him as my hero, as my leader. Yassir is one of our prefects, an outstanding student. He's so humble, his resilience, his strength of character. He's a role model for all the kids throughout the school. Despite showing enormous potential in his sport, Yassir isn't even thinking about trying to get into the 2012 Games. Because those short ones, you're just doing that. Even if they're short, still brush them up. Instead, he wants to keep training and have a crack at the Games in 2016. And when that time comes, he can't wait to make his adopted country proud.